Welcome learner. In this tutorial, you are going to be introduced to how to use Camtasia to record your screen and edit it. In the first place, I will introduce you to the interface. First, we look at the timeline, that is where you will be manipulating your clips. Then the canvas, that's where the project will be previewed. And then we look at the tools you'll be using and applying on your clips, then the properties of the individual clips. Now to or to record the screen, first click on record. And when you click on record here, this is what comes up. So the properties you can set them here. This is the region where you can make your recorder. So you can open and select which area you want to capture. That is the size. Then you come here. This is your webcam. If you have a webcam, you can toggle this. You see yourself being recorded. And this is the microphone. So you can toggle it off. If you don't want to ex record external voice, then you can toggle it on. You can also toggle this one, which is the system audio. If your computer is playing an audio, you want to record that in addition, then you can toggle it on or toggle it off. Then if you want to start the recording, you press on record. Then after a count, you start recording. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to record this mathematical concept. And that is determining total surface area of a closed cylinder. You know for a closed cylinder that has radius R and height H has three parts. And the parts are the body, the top, and the bottom. Now we label the top area as A1, the body as A2 that has become the rectangle, and the bottom as A3. But then we know that the area of a circle is pi r squared. In that case, area A1 and area A3 will all be pi r squared. Then let's look at the rectangle. The length of this rectangle will be equal to the circumference of the circle. And the circumference is 2 pi r. And the height is h. Putting A1 and A3 together, you have pi r squared plus pi r squared, that gives you 2 pi r squared. But you know that A2 is 2 pi r times h, that is 2 pi r h. Then again, putting A1, A2, and A3 together gives the total surface area of the cylinder. In that case, we have 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h, and that gives us 2 pi r into brackets r plus h and that is the area of a cylinder yeah so as soon as you are done you either find the clip in the timeline or you find it in the media beam you drag and drop it on the timeline then you start playing if you want to highlight certain areas then you can use animations click on animations Assuming I want to show the area of the top for you to see it well, then I'll use this, right? It's like this. If you want to label or you want to type a text, you can use annotations. And with annotations, basic, here you can select this, drag, drop on the timeline you can move it across to anywhere that you want okay so at this point you can double click and type in it and then place it at where you want it to be right so if i preview from here it appears right and just after that it will vanish if you want to lay emphasis on something then you can so under annotation, select, for instance, sketch motions. Then I'll select this, drop it here. And I want this sketch motion to go around this rectangle. So for this, I will resize it for the rectangle. And when I preview from here, you see that with this rectangle, could be edited and the properties. So I can decide to increase the thickness 
of the line of the rectangle and then also change the color of the rectangle and you can preview this way if you want to cut some sections off you can use the, the bar so drag to that section and between these two sections you want to cut it off you can right click here and select repo delete or delete and it will cut that session off if there is an image you want to insert or something you want to insert you are free to do that just go to the clip in double click then you select and then click open you find the item here drag and drop then it appears it is previewed here you can resize by using the handles right and place it at where you want it to be so you can preview it this way now you want it you want to apply transition to it to appear in a, a certain style you click on start transitions and then look at the number of transitions here you want to use for instance circle stitch you place it at this end and then when you preview it and that is how it appears to export your work to the video click on export you want to save it on your computer so local file then you select custom production settings click on next select which file format you want it to convert to i prefer mp4 then next you determine your video size here and the quality click on next and then you are supposed to determine whether you want the scum or whatever i click on next and then select the location where you want the video to save all right and then you determine the file name i will name it try two and then select finish it will render after rendering you find this you may want to open to the location to find your work and this is your work you open it right that is your video file i hope this tutorial have been fruitful to you thanks for watching in the next tutorial i'm gonna show you how to edit video in camtasia goodbye